this thing. <laughs> Okay, so a bunch of my really good friends were all crossing guards. Like when we went out of town to Disneyland, it was a little hard to find some subs because we're all crossing guards. So <laughs> Scott said, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my application to be a crossing guard so I could just help out. Like if I'm sick or I have something with the kids, or if I'm out of town, because there's several times I'm out of town and he's not, that he could like cover. And we're like, oh okay. So he actually really did it. And he had his training today. shadow for his first time he has to shadow someone so of course he's gonna shadow me but down this road is my other two friends Lindsay and Jackie they are guards down there and so she just texted me wow dynamic duo down there <laughs> it's hilarious look how cute he is <laughs> no you cannot do hand gestures I know you learn that in training Scott <laughs> We are not. Cars might get confused that you're talking to them. <laughs> yes, we are not. You cannot signal the children. The ch the ch using yes, your hands. you cannot do that. Like you're not in charge of moving traffic. Okay. You're in charge of making safety for there children. There are eight phases <laughs> to proper <laughs> crossing guard function. First, oh my gosh, is to identify that someone needs to cross. Oh my gosh. Second, how could you remember that? Oh, symbol. Look at this. See this guy uh -huh. coming up. This bus uh -oh. is about to honk his horn. Let's, let's watch. Let's move, watch move. this. Yeah. <laughs> Told you, sucker. You do not mess with bus drivers. Second. No, we're not. I'm not going to film all of them. Assemble the children. Please, please. Uh... <laughs> Three. <laughs> Identify the gap. <laughs> There's eight. I don't even remember any of those. <laughs> okay, so I'm at my second cross. I do two or three crosses in the morning and two or three crosses in the afternoon. I keep pretty busy. Okay, so for those of you like, uh, Scott has a job, why are you? Why is he a crossing guard as well? This is the deal. He, um, or as a crossing guard, we get paid $31 an hour. <clears throat> so it's pretty, get me out of the street. It's pretty good money, good extra cash. And I definitely noticed I don't have it in the summertime when there's no school. <laughs> so there's been times kind of like what I just had mentioned that um, I'm out of town, but there's also so many of our friends that cross and need subs. I'm like, if Scott's in town, why not? <laughs> you know, why not fill in a couple extra spots here and there? Um, Cause I know there's a couple guards, including myself when we're trying to, even though having two or three crosses the day is awesome. It has to, the schools and the times have to line up. And sometimes, you know, I'm already covering a spot and someone asks for a sub and so Scott could do it. Or if a friend is in need, like I know Jen is just about to have her baby. Her daughter is just about to have her baby. So she'll need some coverage and um, I'm able to do it with my schedule now, but just in case I wasn't able to, like, let's keep it in the family. So Scott's able to, if he's in town. So it's just an extra little Thing for us to have extra cash because it's so easy and it's so fun like it's such an easy job so hopefully that answered your questions about cross gardening <laughs> yeah. okay. oh i didn't land it hey still not Adrian bad just not jumped bad. off of it's f practically 15 feet look how small he is look how high he is <sighs> jump again I just rolled. Okay, let the sports <laughs> games begin. Okay. Wondering if you do this in your family. Bribe your children to play well by paying them money. We do. Could be a quarter, could be a dollar. And it's every sport. Lacrosse, basketball, football, it doesn't matter. So, and it's not just if you score, because like if you're a goalie in lacrosse, like sometimes Brigham is, then there's no way for him to get money. But if he blocks it or like in basketball which we're gonna be walking watching right now if he dribbles it and does a great bounce pass to an open kid and they score that's still like a quarter or 50 cents like we add up money to help entice the kids to play better do you play better when you know there's money and sometimes when i'm like like especially this guy he'll be like mom like three goals or whatever like those three dollars mom like mom mom like, yes, I know. I'm adding up that money for you. So tonight you have a basketball game. Yep. You excited? You yep. ready? How yep. much money do you think you're going to get? $6 again. Six? Again. Okay. Six dollars? 
We'll see. We'll see. So Preston's up. He already told me I didn't pay him for last week. <laughs> so I know. I didn't pay anyone last week. I guess I'm behind. So here we go. Basketball begins. just belting that in the car all right so Preston's team won like this is this, this is like something that bothers me five? when one team is like really good against the other team the refs start I don't know feeling bad they're like the great equalizer they were like oh uh, white ball no it was purple uh foul uh well I've been on the losing team yes and it sucks but don't have pity on us. Don't don't let us have the ball when it's clearly not our turn. Or like when it's our ball and we're about to throw it into our point guard who's amazing. And the ref says, no, you need to pass it to that kid because we need to share and everyone has equal time with the ball. That's not fair. Not fair. Here. Eating. Eating. <laughs> yes. Tyler's dip. Yummy. He said he's renaming it Gavin's dip. Nice. I'd go for that. Gavin's dip. Okay, so he's registering for high school classes. My sweet baby's gonna be in high school next year. Freshman. Freshman. I, I love talking, when he tries not to smile. It's I was so talking cute. with Don Ladies. It's so cool because next year's sophomore and freshman are with each other this year as seventh and eighth graders. Yeah. Like eighth and eighth and ninth graders. Eighth right? and ninth, yeah. So they're not going to school not knowing some people. Right. It's, it's awesome. Like, it's a nice transition. It's easy. Yep. Are you excited? Yep. Are you excited to go to high school? Tell her what oh, some what? of the classes are you're taking. Oh yeah. You're excited about. Um I'm gonna take wrestling. Nice. Nice ASL. So we met Brett tonight. Oh, cool. Brett was asking about Will. Oh, fun. And Jackson. Brett said that a friend of his got called to Las Vegas Mission, English speaking. Once they got there and found out they signed, they reassigned her as a sign language missionary <gasps> on the Vegas Mission. I wonder if his president knows. Jackson! Know. You need to tell your mission. Oh my gosh, I'm going to write him right now. Okay. Hey! <laughs> I got in the run. I got in the Why? way. <laughs> Two against one. Oh, there's this to block. <laughs> That's funny. It's like half basketball, half like capture the flag and half wrestling moves. But Preston, Brigham and Nathan got to work together. <laughs> There you go. Hold that, hold that, hold that. <laughs> it's a little slippery. Look at this, Gavin's so freaking tough. <laughs>